So listen, here we are all ready to see Stacey and Fraser get married. But I always think before we do, it's good to look back on the journey that got them here. <laughs> well for that we need to go all the way back to Whitburn Academy. And Fraser remembers Stacey from RMPS class. <laughs> Stacey kind of remembers that guy from the other side of the timetable who always wore the yellow head Perry zipper. By sixth year in high school, they both found themselves in the same tight knit group. Anyway, they left school and the group of pals would be going out most Fridays and Saturdays, usually with a midweek pub quiz chucked in for good measure. And Fraser soon realised that he and Stacey had the same student union in Edinburgh, so they decided to meet up without the rest of the group, just as friends mind. So clearly Fraser was working his ticket out in the friend zone, but he was dead mindful that he might get a knockback and ruin a perfectly good friendship. So Dan has been the good and intuitive pal that he is, set about doing some reconnaissance, but we find out what the chances of a KB were. I'm guessing you just use your eyes. <laughs> I don't even remember this. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, a couple of months later, they were out in the duel of uh, Livingston's nightlife crown, Club Earth. By this point, Darren had seen enough and orchestrated a taxi home just for the two of them. Uh, and they'd barely made it to Blackridge before they were winching the faces off one another <laughs> in the back. And well, for that point, here we are. <laughs> Daz, uh, I just want you to know that you're like a brother to me. Um, I want to thank you for making this such an easy friendship. I think 15 year old us would be proud that we still talk every day and largely about the same stupid stuff we talked about back then. I thought the husband was just supposed to say thanks everybody but <laughs> kind of caught me off guard there. Um, if we could all just take a moment to appreciate that, days are turned up on time. <laughs> I thought it would be us and Stacey waiting for him to walk down there. <laughs> Today I must admit that I'm the proudest dad in the world. You look absolutely beautiful in your stunning red dress. Stacey, you are an intelligent, hard-working and caring person and you deserve the world. Every wedding is special, of course, but to see your daughter get married is something else. Stacey walking down the aisle this afternoon is a memory I will cherish forever. Following the declarations you made in front of your family and friends, it's been a great pleasure, Fraser and Stacey, that I declare you married and pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> I can't believe how perfect you look. I look forward to growing and changing with you over the years, to continue to be each other's best friends, to always make time for one another, to do the things we want to do and see all the things we want to see, to be each other's partner in navigating through life. You're the kindest, smartest, wittiest person I know. I love you, you're, you're my everything, and I can't wait to start the rest of my life with you. Yeah,